it is the first weekend in March and uh, it's gonna start out pretty spring-like, but then we'll see some storms come through as the weekend rolls on. But I'm Trisha Swenson and this is Vail Valley Live and I'm coming to you from the base of Gondola One beautiful sunny slopes behind me you can see they just groomed peppy's face so it's always a good morning on fridays to uh hit peppy's face maybe first thing while it still has the corduroy on there but we're gonna let you know about conditions on the hill we'll also let you know about some fun things happening in the vale valley and beyond so join us right now vale valley live starting <laughs> everyone i'm trisha swenson with vale valley live and we're coming to you from gondola one at vale mountain this morning this is the weekend edition of vale valley live so you can catch us today this will play again saturday and sunday so we're gonna let you know kind of what's happening throughout the whole weekend if you're just getting to town or if you're a local and you didn't go on that midwinter break that all the kids went on Hey, we've got a beautiful paradise right here that you can enjoy during your staycation. But we've already got us some people lined up here at Gondola One. Let me just show you right over there. Yep, they're getting ready to go. 8.30 is when we open up both of the mountains, Vale and Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek Main Mountain closes at 4 p.m. And then Vale is still closing at 3.30 later on in the, the month. It will close at 4, but not until probably about maybe the, the 10th or so. Don't quote me on that, but we're going to probably wait for a daylight savings time before this mountain will stay open a little bit later in the afternoon. And keep in mind, the back bowls do close at 3 o'clock, and then Blue Sky Basin closes just a bit before that. But um, what an amazing week. We had a, a big storm that came through that dumped some midweek snow. A lot of locals got out and enjoyed that. I even had some friends from Denver that drove up just for the day to catch a little of the powder action. But let's let you know about the weather right now. This weather report is brought to you by the outlets at Silverthorne. Elevated savings. You can find a ton of great stores just over Vail Pass. It's about a 30 minute drive from here, exit 205, and outlets on both sides of that interstate. But according to the National Weather Service, we're gonna have a pretty nice looking Friday. Plenty of sunshine for you. Temperatures will reach into the 40s for your Friday. But then as we move into Saturday, we're gonna see increasing clouds uh, the wind's going to pick up as well and then by sunday we're going to be into a winter storm watch now a watch isn't as severe as a warning a warning is what we had last week but right now they're just calling it a watch and we'll be close, paying close attention to if anything changes with that but we could see some snow saturday night into sunday and also into your monday um, and uh, blowing snow as well. So your best days of the week, if you're looking for some sunny skies, blue skies, blue runs kind of day, you're gonna find that on your Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows will be down to about 25 degrees on Friday night, not too bad. And then about 22 degrees on Saturday night. So we'll see those temperatures, not in the single digits until we get to mm, maybe Sunday night into the teens. And everything but that's a quick look at the weather make sure you're putting on the sunscreen you know with these nice days you don't have the neck gator up, up to here i've seen a lot of goggle tans so make sure you are applying the sunscreen spf probably you know 20 or 30 or higher and then reapply it throughout the day bring it with you you can also get those little small tubes of sunscreen putting in your pocket so you can uh stay uh keep your skin safe out here with these rays it is very intense up here in the rocky mountains but if you need some outerwear to get you set up for the slopes and maybe just some fashion pieces for opera ski columbia that's a great outlet just across Vail pass at the outlets at silver thorn let's find out more 
Hi, I'm Peggy Ziglin, fashion guru and stylist for the outlets at Silverthorne. I'm here at the Columbia Outlet to invite you to see some amazing, amazing fashions that are going to keep you warm, looking great, feeling great on the slopes or wherever your destination may be. But for me, I'm here with this fabulous big check, amazing jacket. It's a bomber, but it's shorter, crop cut. $165 would be retail. No, no, no. It came to $65 here, which is amazing. Love it. Love it. Love it. I think I'm going to have to have it. And now I want to share with you some other amazing fashions, starting with Rachel. And Rachel has on the cutest looks from Columbia, from her fun little peach hat. She's got her fun matching gloves. They're fabulous and matching these hats and fun little accessories. She's got her bubble coat on, which is striped detailing and amazing colors. She also has her fun, fun bib, ski bibs on, and then her crew neck top. And then look at the Sorel lace boots. I must tell you, I've only seen Sorel boots like that at the Atlas at Silverthorne Columbia Outlet. And guess what? They're $79. Amazing. $615 is what Rachel would pay head to toe. Comes to $293.34. With her savings card saving her 10%, she's going to actually save $321.65. When you save more than you spend, it's a deal. Thanks, Rachel. And then we have Nikita. So Nikita's in Columbia too, and she also has Mountain Hardware, her jacket on. She has her adorable Geo Fun little pom-pom hat, her fun tangerine hoodie, her Geo Fun leggings on, and look at the Sorel boots, I must tell you again. $59.97 for those Sorel boots, only at Columbia, only at the house at Silverthorne. $540 would be retail, comes at $202.44. That's with her savings card. Nikita's gonna save $337.55. Looking great, Nikita. Okay, feast your eyes on this one. Here we have our onesie, our amazing ski uh, rainbow fun one-piece suit. Here's Liv, she has her amazing pom-pom hat, the rainbow one-piece snowsuit, that is adorable. Her neck warmer that has her high-tech, omni-tech warmth in them. And then of course, as you saw, the secret's out, her Sorel out and about pink boots. Buy one, get one half right now. Her boots, $49.97. Nowhere in the world are you gonna find Sorel boots for $49.97. Her whole outfit would be $461. It's gonna come to $207.51. She's going to save $253.48 only at where? The Alton Silverthorne Columbia Outlet. Looking great, Liv. And then we have Olivia. And Olivia also looks fabulous. She's ready for her bike, her hike, her bike ride, whatever she wants. She looks fabulous. Even if she doesn't perform well, she looks well. So she's got her amazing Argyle hat on, which is Omnitech. She has her turtleneck on to keep her fun and toasty. Her fun a big check top on, which is cropped. She also has Mountain Hardware leggings on. And then, of course, those Sorel amazing boots. Her whole outfit would be $415. Comes to $161. She's going to save $253.05. Looking great, Olivia. And Nathan, he is ready for slopes, going out, having a great time. There he is with his, first of all, his Columbia fun hat, his beanie on, love it. He has his uh, hoodie on underneath. He has his plaid, fabulous flannel shirt. Those are like $19.95 now. Again, nowhere in the world other than Columbia Outlet at Silverthorne. Um, he also has his Columbia Omnitech jacket on. Wow, amazing. His snow pants, and look at those Columbia insulated fabulous shoes. His whole outfit would be $539.97 in the retail world, but in the uh, outlets at Silverthorne, fabulous Columbia world, $292.45. Yeah, wow. Um, and he's going to save $247.51. Great job, Nathan. So why don't I have everyone come on back in. We'll take another fabulous look. All these models have done such a fabulous job. And of course, we're right here at the Allison Silverthorne at the Columbia Outlet 
where you can save big time. Don't forget your savings card booklet. You save 10% off $75. See you soon. We believe in the power of a live performance. We believe in making memories together. Join us as we celebrate making moments that last a lifetime. Bringing concerts, comedy, Broadway, classical, dance, and family entertainment in the heart of the Rocky Mountains in Beaver Creek Village. View the full lineup and get tickets today at villarpack.org. Welcome back to Vail Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson with your weekend edition of what's happening on and off the slope. So we're gonna give you some details and a good place where you can keep in touch with the Vail Valley, even when you're not here, is Vail Daily's website, veildaily.com, nice and simple. And it'll give you a look at kind of what, what the hot topics are. Uh, one of those hot topics, well, how about which Eagle County town saw the greatest increase in property taxes and which saw the smallest increase? That's one of the headlines this weekend. Also, Eagle County presidential primary voting is currently running ahead of 2020's numbers. And then we have all sorts of topics, whether it's letters to the editor, um, different things going on with prep sports. We've got World Cup action happening on U.S. soil again this weekend. And if you're looking for a little fun, we've got the arts and entertainment section with the events calendar and so much more. So Bill Daily, bringing communities together for over 40 years, a great resource for you out there. But another thing uh, that we want to talk about is Tubing. So that's this big news. Tubing is back in Eagle County. Now, Vail Resorts has always had that tubing hill, and this summer they ran the summer tubing. But this winter, and I'm not sure why, they did not bring the winter tubing back. But Sage Outdoor Adventures, which is out west of here on your way to Eagle, it's off the Walcott exit. They have added two lanes. One is 150 yards, another one is 300 yards long. And what they do is since they're also a rafting company and a snowmobile company, they haul you up in a snowmobile and you're, you and your tubes go on the raft, your guide brings you back up, and then you get back to the top. And uh, that's kind of fun too, just to have the ride. And then you can go down, you can go double. You can, if you've got little kids, they can ride, ride with you but uh, this is just a really a lot of fun. Now it's limited time only. It's only gonna be through the month of March. March 31st is when they're gonna have the last Jubilee Hill. They're a little bit lower in elevation down there. Um, they don't get as much snow down there. So uh, this is all weather permitting, but just something fun. If you're looking for a day off the slopes, maybe taking a break, maybe your legs are a little tired, tubing could be the way to go. And if you plan it accordingly, you could do tubing and a snowmobile tour. And if you aren't a tuber, if you just want to watch, you can watch. They have a seating area at the base. And they're going to have hot chocolate and all sorts of things for you. So that should be a ton of fun. Now, another thing that's different this weekend is ski touring. Now, if you've never heard of ski touring, this is actually something that's been done for a long time. It's a Norwegian term, and it's basically when you have something pull you, whether it's a horse, whether it's a snowmobile, maybe even dogs, you know, get a little dog sled action going, and they pull you on skis. And what they do in Leadville is they've been doing this for 76 years. And what they do is they have the horses pull the skiers through a course on Harrison Avenue. This is the main street in Leadville. And they're gonna be hosting this on Saturday and on Sunday. And it's not only uh, going down the street, there's jumps, there's obstacles, and there's um, rings. The, the riders or the skiers are holding a baton and they've got to get it through these rings. So it's precision, it's a timed event, and it really is super spectator friendly. So if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, this is it. So uh, they'll have the Calcutta start at about 9 a.m. 
and then noon is when the action will happen. And on Saturday, they're going to let the kids try it behind a snowmobile. So not behind the horses, but behind the snowmobile. And what's really cool is the rider and the, the horse and the, um, the, the person that's riding the horse, they're all randomly paired together. So it's not like you get to practice and you get your favorite horse or anything. So it's really anyone's game. Now, if you want to sign up for this, you need to do so uh, in person um, the night before. Friday night at the Elks Lodge in Leadville for Saturday's event or Saturday at the Elks for Sunday. And this is going to be where the award ceremony will be held as well. So tons of fun with Leadville Ski Touring. But if you're keeping it in town, we've got a lot of fun going on, especially in the music department. Now for Opry Ski, we have a lot of things that are happening. Live music abounds in the afternoon. So by two, three o'clock, if you're coming down the hill, you can come and check out some of the great things going on. And uh, it's going to be Lucky Fridays at Chasing Rabbits. So from 10 p.m. until about one in the morning, we're going to have some great things. Lucky Friday uh, featuring um, Sunforce. So that'll be the act on Friday. And then down the rabbit hole will be going on on Saturday with Sunforce as well. So they'll be back for a couple nights and then Lando is on your Sunday night. He kind of has a standing Sunday night uh, gig. So if you're looking for your Sunday fun day and you wanted to go well into the evening, then uh, head to the Cottontail Club and uh, featuring Lando. And then also this weekend, we've got Vail Yeti Hockey. So I was talking to Don Panetta, who's been on our show many times before, and they are playing the Breck Vipers again this weekend. So when they play Breckeridge, one of the games is in Breck, so Friday night's in Breck, and then Saturday night is gonna be in Vail. And this will be at the Dobson Arena. This is a hot ticket because a lot of people go to these games, and Dom said it's been so fun to watch this, uh, watch the audience just grow, you know, by the hundreds. And so you can get your tickets in advance online uh, but otherwise you're gonna wait at the door and he said that there's been a line out the door getting tickets So I'll get these tickets in advance and um, this weekend they're bringing in a guest hockey player So have you heard of Trav? He's been vlogging for uh, probably 10 years since like since he was a junior hockey player and and then all of his different hockey um, you know plays with all different teams and he's got these fun vlogs and he is gonna be joining Yeti Hockey. Yeah, here he is. And so it's just kind of funny. He does vlogs each week. Uh, he's from Winnipeg, Canada, you know, grew up playing the hockey game. So if you love hockey and you like a good sense of humor, check out some of his vlogs and then find him on the ice with Yeti Hockey this weekend. So it should be a, a ton of fun. But hey, here we are at Gondola One a healthy line before we get the runs operating at 8.30 this morning. But Donald One does a great job of getting people up the mountain. They can fit quite a few people into all of the cars. And then once they get out, they disperse all throughout the mountain. But uh, uh, so, and then don't forget, we've got a couple different portals that you can go to. If you ever see a long line here at Gondola One, it's just a quick walk over to the Rebabon Express, and that's number six, chair number six. Or you can always hop on the bus and head over to Lion's Head. We have chair eight, as well as the Eelbon Gondola, number 19. So you can take your pick if you want to just keep your skis on. Go up chairs eight and 26. That'll get you to the same place that Eelbon Gondola gets you to. So just a couple of quick tips as we see these spring crowds, spring breaky, spring breakers come into town. But let's take it to a break. When we come back, we'll let you know about what's happening at the Bar Performing Arts Center and Beaver Creek. We're at the Villar Performing Arts Center and joining us now, we have Cameron Morgan. He's the executive director of this great facility up here at Beaver Creek. And uh, we're gonna take a break from going to the stage. We're gonna talk a little bit about someplace that maybe people don't know about. Tell us about the Patrons Lounge. Yes, yeah, so we're here in the May Gallery, our Patrons Lounge. It's on the upper lobby level. As you come into the doors, you might see it off to your left. It's a wonderful space and facility for all of our, our patrons to enjoy pre-show intermission and beautiful. I mean, it's recently redone just within the last last five years now. And it's a gorgeous space. Art, 
full bar, yeah. full experience. Yeah. All right, so if you're interested in that, talk to him about donor levels and to get you in there. But um, let's talk about the performances because you're gonna start out March with a bang. I mean, in like a lion, out like a lion, however that saying is, we're bringing it as we start the month. Absolutely, March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, back to back to back. We've got three incredible shows to enjoy here at the VPAC with a wide variety yeah. there within that same weekend. And we start out March the 1st with Matt Kearney and Brett Denon just, just teaming up yeah, uh, to bring their, their sounds. They're totally, you know, totally separate. It's not like that's their band's name or anything for those of you that don't know. But yeah, give us a little background and how they came together. Absolutely. So they're, they're old friends and they're yeah. really coming together to perform be because of that. Like, yeah. There's that real connection and chemistry on stage. We're like, yeah, you you, you guys go way back. I know. Uh, and they, their, their sounds, while they're not exactly the same, they're really complementary. They have that, that folksy yeah. feel, that Americana feel, and both of them are phenomenally successful artists in their own right, and we're thrilled to welcome them here to the VPAC together. Okay, so it'll be Friday, March 1st, and That's then right. we've got... Saturday, Saturday night, Saturday night, this is Throwback Saturday. <laughs> uh, this is the 80s on full display. This is Electric Avenue, the ultimate 80s MTV experience. This is as authentic of an 80s sound as you can get. Now, uh, 40 something years oh, later. Yeah. Um, but th it's going to be a wonderful evening full of nostalgia and all the songs you'll know by heart. Oh, yeah. And just that sound, you know, that synthesizer, saxophone, just all those different things are so signature to the 80s. Absolutely. And they, they do such an authentic job of portraying and presenting that with, and there'll be visuals, there'll be obviously the, the original instruments from that period that really are so key to having that look and feel and the energy that you expect coming out of the 80s. Okay, and then on Sunday night, one more show to round out the weekend. Sunday night, yes. Switching gears from live music to comedy, and not just any comedian, but a movie star in our midst. Com comedian Nick Swartzen, this Sunday, March the 3rd, rounding out the weekend and really catapulting us into March. I mean, you know him from the screen. He's part of the Adam Sandler family of oh, comics. Yeah. Um, and he's going to be doing stand-up for us yeah. here on the VPAC stage. Okay. And uh, this is what I love, is three completely different performances. You could go each night and have a different experience, and it just kind of is a telltale sign of what it's like here at the Valar Performing Arts Center. Absolutely. You just have such a good variety. Absolutely, and you can come see that this week, and then next week there's Southern Rock, and the week after that, <laughs> dance and classical violin. It's just the, the variety is, is so broad, and for folks that want to learn more, definitely check out our website, valarpac.org. And I will mention some of these shows, limited availability, yes. tickets are flying off the shelf. If there's a show that you really have to come to, call our box office. Okay. Elliot and Liz in the box office will take great care of you. And that's 970-845-8497. Okay, call or go online to find out about these shows and get your tickets for the Valar Performing Arts Center. Fun to catch up with Cameron and find out what's going on at the Bilar Performing Arts Center. And not only is this weekend busy, but we, we have the whole month of busyness. And even in the set of April, we're going to see some great shows all the way through pretty much closing weekend at Beaver Creek. But next weekend, we have Blackberry Smoke, and this is Southern Rock, big group out of Georgia. And they have limited availability right now too. So if this is on your radar, definitely get your tickets. And, and like Cameron said, you know, call the box office or even go there in person. Typically open 11 to 5 uh, during the days. And um, especially when we have some of these big shows, even coming to the Gerald R. Ford Amphitheater, some of those service fees can be a little stiff. So call the box office and see if you can get them in person and save on those service fees. But Blackberry Smoke, on uh, March 8th and then the very next week we bring in Penn and Teller so you guys they hardly get any time off you know they got their big shows in Vegas but this is going to be the following week and uh, you see that this will be on Tuesday March 12th magic and all of their antics up close and in person you know the seats the furthest seat away from the stage is about 80 feet and then everything from there gets closer 
So to see these guys in person that close is pretty amazing. So tickets still available. They're starting at $98. But hey, this is Penn & Teller. So limited availability on this. I would get on this right away if you want to see these two legends on stage. So that's at the Villar Performing Arts Center, VillarPAC.org. Now, a few other things happening on the mountain at Beaver Creek on Fridays, we have Ski with a Ranger. And this is a wonderful partnership with Walking Mountains and the U.S. Forest Service. They provide the, the guides that are gonna take you around the upper part of Beaver Creek. So you meet at chairs, uh, the top of chairs eight and five, kind of in that Red Buffalo Park beginner area. So if you could ski those runs, ski or snowboard, you'll be fine for this tour. And you're gonna meet up with just with like someone just like that. Uh, and I had a chance to take the tour, U.S. Forest Service. And then you travel around with your group and you stop at different locations and they give you tips and different um, knowledge that they can pass along with you and to your friends. Um, they'll talk about the, the flora, the fauna, some of the resistors. Those are the animals that stay through the winter and don't migrate. But um, you just feel smarter after going on <laughs> one of these tours. So it is going to be Fridays throughout early April. So you've got some time, but you know how it gets. Bring your friends. If you have friends from out of town, they'll get a total kick out of this. And, and it's absolutely free. So take advantage of that. Other things happening back down on the plaza, we have Ken Carpenter and the caricatures that he draws up. We have Helmet Fricker performing this weekend. And we've got the ice skating rink that's right down there at the base. You can rent skates. If you have your own skates, just go in, sign the waiver, pay the little fee to access the rink, and it's all yours. You can show your stuff. And then Beaver Creek Fun Fest returns as well. So this is a fun carnival game type of thing that they do on Saturdays. And they do this, uh, you know, in the afternoons, you come off the slopes four till about 5.30 or so. And if you win some carnival games, you can exchange those little tokens for prizes. And so it's a lot of fun for the kids. Now for the older kids, we've got something new. It's called Hawk's Nest Cabin. And this is just up the staircase from the ice rink. You can actually see the ice rink down below above the hooked restaurant. And you won't miss the big light up dance floor because those lights can be seen all throughout the plaza. So there's the dance floor. There's a ski simulator where on the screen they put Beaver Creek's race course. And so you're skiing or snowboarding through those gates, kind of in a simulator. It's a really cool thing. And then they got a pool table, they've got mocktails, they're gonna have some music. It's a lot of fun. They're open daily, two until nine. In the earlier hours, it's the younger kids. And then later on, it's the older kids, okay? So this is, you know, probably 14 to 18. And you know how it is. They just kind of want to get away from their younger siblings. So this is Beaver Creek's answer to what are you going to do with the kids? And if you're tired of the eye roll, I don't think you're going to get it if they go here. So plan that out and uh, check it out. Uh, once again, open 2 to 8 or 2 to 9 p.m. daily. Now, um, a few other things going on. Well, we did some snow earlier this week and our very own Sean Naylor from the Vale Daily had a chance to get on the hill. Here's more about that midweek powder day. Woo! All right, what's happening, Beaver Creek? This is Sean Naylor with the Vale Daily, and you were watching on the hill. It is February 27th, 2024, and we are out here for a midweek powder day. All right, so it is cold and windy up top, and on days like this, you got to seek salvation in the trees. So I like to come out here, right around the Strawberry Park Bachelor Gulch area, and go hit this prime spot right here. This is pretty sweet. Check this out. All right, so we had about five to nine inches fall, depending on what part you're, of the mountain you're on right now. But I tell you what, it's such a gem to be out here 
on these days when it is the middle of the week, you have fresh snow, and there's nobody out here. This is a true local, locals only powder day right now. Where everyone takes extended lunch breaks, falls in sick to work, or finds a way to use their GoPro for work. So some of y'all may be wondering where I've been all this year. Well, I've been embracing a new kind of adventure. Me and my beautiful wife, Jess, just welcomed our son, baby James, into this world in January. And mom is healthy, baby is healthy, and when everyone's okay, dad gets to play. So I hope y'all didn't miss me too much, but I will be back out here all season. We got lots of exciting stuff coming your way. We got comedian Nick Schwartzen coming in this weekend to the vlog. Love that guy, he's hilarious, from grandma's boy. So can't wait to do that. Can't wait to take advantage of our arts and entertainment while also shredding some of this snow. good right here check this out everybody it is prime time in the beef all right so as far as snow goes we still got some falling right now However, that's going to taper down and then we do expect a little bit towards closer to the weekend. However, the next big storm is expected around Sunday and Monday of next week. So keep an eye out guys, book those extended vacations. <laughs> so I'm going to continue to have fun out here for the rest of the day, but I'll tell you what, it is great to be back and I'm going to let you off right here. This is Sean Naylor with The Veil vale Daily. Thank you for watching. We'll be back out here all season. We'll see you too. Cheers. Uh, thanks Sean for that tour down Beaver Creek Mountain. And we could get some new snow this weekend. Uh, they're calling for a winter storm watch, which isn't as severe as a winter storm warning, but that's what the National Weather Service is saying right now. And speaking of weather, let's give you that report brought to you by Grand Hyatt Vale. Hey, home of the brand new Makoto Vale Sushi Restaurant. They just opened that. We had a chance to interview Chef Makoto Akua, who was in town for this big grand opening. He has uh, awesome restaurants in Washington DC, Miami, Sao Paulo, Brazil, uh, Panama City, Panama. Uh, so pretty cool to have this restaurant in Vail. But once again, thank you Grand Hyatt Vail for this weather and mountain report. We're looking for sunny skies on your Friday. I'm recording the weekend edition on Friday morning and we should also have some sunshine on Saturday. But with clouds building and the wind picking up, as we roll into this winter storm watch. Temperature wise, we'll be into the 40s for your Saturday, your Friday, your Saturday. It'll be a little bit cooler on your Sunday into the 30s. And this snow is gonna last kind of Saturday night into Sunday, into Monday as well. Cloud cover sticking around for the early part of the week. So if you want the sunshine, get out of here on Friday or Saturday. Looks like you'll need the, the lighter lens for Sunday when we see that snow come down, but hey, we'll take it. We could use all the snow we can get during the season here. Uh, once again, we've got the lifts opening at 8.30.
for Vail and Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek closes the main mountain at 4. Arrowhead, Boucher Gulch, some of the western hillside, that all closes at 3.30. Over at Vail, we're still closing the front side at 3.30. Back Bowl's at 3 o'clock. And then we've got Blue Sky Basin closing a little bit earlier than that. As our daylight hours get longer, and we're going to see daylight savings time come into play in early March, we'll start to open up the front side until 4 o'clock. But until then, it's not happening yet. I'll let you know when it's happening, but until then, it is still three o'clock on the hill. But um, lots of people down here, many people getting to jump on their weekend. So have a great time, everybody. Once again, don't forget, we've got Tubi down at Sage Outdoor Adventures and Walk Up and the Ski Join in Leadville this weekend. Both of them should be a great time. We'll see you out there.